so it's been quite a while since I've played Prestige 20, let alone against the Storm. So I was thinking of giving it a go and seeing how it went. So we're taking beavers for the special wood bonus and foxes because I haven't actually played with them very much. And we're embarking with Amber for the Amber Tax. I spent a lot of time thinking about this. A small farm because our choices of buildings are limited with only two choices. So I thought maybe taking a food building could help me here. And provisions because I just like being able to trade early. So we get two resin every time we cut down a tree. That is very nice. Oh, but we have creeping shadows. So unfortunately we can't open glades during the storm, which I do remember is kind of how you would open a lot of glades is during the storm. So you could have as much time on events during the good seasons as you need. The rest of these aren't too terrible if I can stay below hostility five during the storm. Okay, so first thing, of course, woodcutter camps because we want as much wood as we can get in these early years before hostility gets too high. Roads are drawn up, we put our crude workstation down for basic materials, and we staff our woodcutters. So our first cornerstone is up. Okay, ooh, I do like trade logs. Metallurgic proficiency could be useful because we do need crystallized dew for like fox houses and stuff. But I'm gonna choose trade logs because it's pretty decent overall. And I'm kind of curious since like trading so OP at lower levels, like is it still OP here? So let's plop that market down. And of course, put some shelters down. Oh, I like this new UI up here to show how many people are unhoused. Our orders are up. This timed trade order might be a little hard. I do have the provisions and amber, but I'd rather make a safe choice here, I think. I don't really have the ingredients to make crops. So yeah, let's just go for the 20 beaver resolve. Open glades. Oh, fox resolve. Um, I feel like I'm not well versed in foxes enough to get them up to this resolve. So I'm just gonna take the glades and rebuild option since I do not wanna make packs of building materials. Oh, well, this one's a lot more easier to do. We just need to upgrade our hearth. So before picking, I'm just gonna put down some decorations and prioritize those and shelters. Oh, we did embark with a lot of clothing. So our one harpy is enjoying themselves. Actually, our beavers are enjoying them even more. So I'm gonna favor them because we can actually get this order done for 20 beaver resolve. So that is super nice. Okay, we've reached level one encampment. So our timed order is done. We'll hand that one in. Clearances here. Let's go back to the blueprints. So I'm struggling to pick between these two and I think I want to open a glade before choosing. Of course, we can't forget the field kitchen. We do have a little bit of raw food that I could maybe be turning into complex food. Okay, we've got a rain collector now to help make porridge and a wide array of other things. Oh, we can actually favor our foxes now. So we'll get a little bit of reputation from them just before the storm hits. Okay, everyone is out of woodcutters and into other buildings. This should be a smooth storm. Oh, and we of course can't forget to trade. These are both pretty good deals. Let's do it. Oh my god, the harpy can reach reputation threshold in the storm. I mean, it's only one, but I might as well. Okay, end of first storm. That went well. So let's do our daily preparations for drizzle. Staff people back into woodcutters and let's open up this glade. And then cornerstone time. Oh boy, this is nice. Is the game prompting me to invest in trading? Because I'm not sure how well I can actually keep up with provisions and things like that. Ancient pact is cool, but let's try the trading and pick our next orders. Luxury goods or deliver 100 drizzle water. Well, I do have the rain collector down. I just need to put another one down, I guess. Actually, there was a drizzle geyser in the glade I'm about to open. We know that thanks to our fox species bonus. So there's that too. Jerky or level two neighborhoods. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get jerky. So let's pick the neighborhoods and pick some more people. I'm just gonna pick the guys with Amber. Speaking of Amber, we have provisions to trade. Let's keep that up, especially now that we have protected trade cornerstone. And we're in. Hidden trader cemetery. I do quite like the rewards on this left side here. So we'll give over the coal and we'll just have to deal with an increase in hostility. And we'll of course use foxes to decrease the glade event timer, which is super nice. So this glade actually does have these massive meat deposits. So I am kind of thinking the trapper's camp. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, these are not bad choices actually. I would like to house our foxes and we do need crystallized dew. However, the apothecary is kind of decent as well, but they are late services is the issue. But I do have a small farm, so that's gonna take up more soil. Let's just wait it out for a moment. Even if it's not the most efficient, we can turn some of this meat into jerky for our harpies. Okay. I did not see you there, old falaf. Oh my god, what the? We have so much resin. Okay, of course it doesn't give us much amber, but that is still really useful. Plot twist, I'm buying some purging fire because, what is it, every three years, 10 cysts appear in your settlement. If I can just turn resin into purging fire, I think that will help save my fuel supply of wood. Uh, so we can't forget to put down the black post, of course. Our foxes are super happy, so we can favor them and get a little bit of reputation again. Oh, what is this? Payments. 
Oh, yes, yes. So the latest update introduced this payment system to make things like the amber tax and stuff like that a little less vexing, let's say. So we have 40 amber, so we can pay this right away. Clearance is here. Let's keep up our trading. We're getting some good deals here. Okay, we're getting pretty low on food, so I'm going to put this herbalist down to get some berries and think about how I'm going to make some more complex food. How's this going? Oh, nice. So these tablets will be good to sell. We've got some good cornerstones here, the plus three global resolve and pottery every time we open a glade. And that's good we got that early. I'm gonna call a trader so I can buy some food because the storm's coming up and uh, yeah, that's not gonna be good. Let's see what she has. Okay, eight insects so I can turn them into 10 jerky and then 20 eggs on top of that. <laughs> Thoughts? Oh, and one more thing, pottery so that I can make some pickled goods with our eggs. Because it's always better to make more food out of the raw food, but uh, I just hope they make them in time. Oh, uh oh. Okay, so some foxes are starving. These guys just need to deliver some food. And we'll favor, so hopefully they don't leave. Okay, so these early year storms are fine with just taking our woodcutters off. And we can just staff those guys in other buildings. Oh my god, they finally got their pickled goods and they love them. <laughs> okay, drizzle time means glade opening time. So I haven't handed this in yet because I do want impatience to grow because that reduces hostility, but we are down on food, so I want those roots. <laughs> oh my goodness, I haven't played enough games with foxes, so I'm just surprised that they're so happy. <laughs> so let's choose our cornerstone. Oh my god, yes. I love peasant supplies. <laughs> I mean, I can't even farm right now, so this is worthless. But we definitely want to trade more. So let's get some newcomers, or should I say provision bringers. You know what, kind of fitting to just go for the one with the amber. And I am, of course, keeping up with a lot of trading. So thinking about improving our settlement and our happiness. These houses are mighty expensive. So I'm just going to put another shelter down. Oh, let's see what we have in here. Oh, nice soil. What's this? Blight rock cauldron. Okay, we definitely don't want that. Oh, I guess we're not even... I'm not even using rainwater, am I? So technically that effect probably be okay for me, but yeah, let's deal with this. For every food produced, blight rots disappear. You know, I prefer the reputation points, so... Oh, we can use our copper bars. That's very good. Yeah, let's do this. So I know I haven't touched my blueprints for ages. So I'm thinking the forester's heart just for the crystallized dew. And maybe I'll find another patch of soil to put the small farm. Oh boy, another hard choice. Smokehouse would help our jerky production, but the beanery is very good too. I'm gonna choose later. We have some more orders. Leisure or aesthetic decorations. Well, those decorations are pretty expensive. So maybe I could just buy leisure. If I can somehow keep up with the trade, that would be awesome. My villagers will probably be suffering, but oh well. <laughs> They'll eventually get some beer for it. Okay, we have trade and rainwater here. Or oh, more rainwater. Oh my god, this is reminding me about the rainwater. I could be piping some buildings here. Um, but let's just get the trade and rainwater one since this is any water and we're of course trading. Hopefully we can keep it up. Okay, everything is staffed well enough. We do have this haunted market here that I'm thinking of getting, but we do get some negative global resolve and I kind of want to get as much reputation out of these foxes as I can. So instead, let's build the foresters so we can get some crystallized dew growing. But of course, we do need to figure out our food issues. So what I'm going to do is get the beanery since that offers two foods that I can sustain if I delete this forester and put the small farm down. My thinking is I'm running a little low on food, so I really need to jumpstart that production. And then hopefully in the next glade or two, there will be soil that I will put a forester's hut down. So let's put this beanery down now. We are of course having to make do with this crude workstation. So our basic resources are a little lacking. Oh, we just got an upgrade for our hearth. Nice. So in the beanery, we'll use our grain and rainwater for the porridge. We can get pottery by opening glades, and I guess I'll just scavenge for the other resource. And look here, I can actually make crystallized you. Beanery, best building, question mark. And I don't want to forget the field kitchen, so I want to keep the jerky up. So I'm going to give you a friend in the trapper's camp. Our farm is almost done. Oh, okay, the cyst will appear next storm. Let us just make some more purging fire for that. Okay, I've been thinking about what to pipe. I do have enough to pipe through buildings. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the field kitchen because that could help our jerky production. I don't know. We need to be using rainwater anyway for our order. Oh, Zorg. Oh, wow. These guys are happy beans. That's good. Let's check out Zorg. Any trading? Nope. I have been trading a lot in the background though. Don't worry. 
I am going to get a little bit of porridge and jerky because I do have a surprising amount of amber and resin. But that will keep our people happy for a little while while we get our own production up and going. The small farm is up but it is clearance so there is no point putting anyone in there right now because they start ploughing the fields in the storm. My farm can't reach some of these fields so we need to cut some wood. I'm thinking of putting a storage and a hearth here when this is gone. But I do like having beavers on woodlands because it is helping our fuel. Especially if we do start using rainwater and we'll need a bunch of purging fire. But I'm being really cautious about that because I'm not sure how bad the blight can get. Oh nice! So we just finished this Blight Rock Cauldron. So that's another reputation point. Oh, hold on. We've got three now. Oh, our foxes and harpies must have helped us get another point. That's nice. I could see myself getting the leather worker for better fabric to help make clothing for beavers and harpies, but yeah, it's just relying on having to get that second building. The cooperage offers services that we could actually make. The tea, I think, we could serve in this holy market. So this could turn out to be a mistake, like relying on a production line I might not be able to serve, but I do have that holy market at least. Super expensive guild house. Oh my god. It feels like it's giving me buildings that make like the same thing in different... with different other things. <laughs> and now it wants me to make wine so I can also serve that in the holy market. This game... <laughs> does it really want me to make wine just for the holy market? Because I already have a cooperage for the tea and the beanery makes crystallized dew. So the alchemist hut just feels like a waste. Um, yes, yeah, so let's put more people in the blight post just before the storm hits and we will remove our woodcutters. So we're all prepared for the blight. Deleting this uh, herbalist camp because we are now out of berries. And let's check on the blight rot. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we're burning them away. These guys are very happy. We can favor the one harpy again. What's the number of sis? So three is under the limit four will destroy us. So I gotta keep that in mind if I do want to use rainwater. Oh yes and I need to staff all these buildings. We can't forget the small Shall farm. I? Oh yes I needed to put a hearth and a storage here for that. And let's not forget to trade. These are some good deals. <laughs> these towns trying to bribe my viceroy. Uh, so a protected trade is going okay. We'll almost proc another one. So storm's almost over. Let's staff this and get into one of these glades. Some more trade before we pick the cornerstone. Ooh, Firekeeper's Prayer! Work speed increase is very nice. Oh, but this one's a free blueprint. Nah, I feel like on principle I just can't choose it. Because I've always just loved the challenge of the randomness. <laughs> Besides, I'm already going into this thinking I'm gonna lose anyway. Uh, orders, rebuild, and provisions, or luxury and amber. Uh, I'm gonna wait to pick and just choose our people. <laughs> I feel like it's fitting to go with the one with the amber. And now our hubby has more friends so we can build another house. We do need to increase our basic materials for the others. Beanery's up which means we can stop making pickle goods in the kitchen. And of course just make sure everything is staffed and whatnot. So Hilda's here. So I'm kind of thinking of getting this plus one grain to help our farm. Since we're using the grain to make porridge but we could also use it for other things I guess. So looking at our orders, we do need to deliver 100 drizzle water. We do have this geyser over here. I am thinking of putting a pump on. So we'll see how that goes. I could put another rain collector down, but... Oh! Glade open. Blood flower, so our food will start decreasing. That is very unfortunate. Let's grab some people and chuck them in there. So this could be very dangerous, but I think I at least have the amber to buy more food at least. Hold on, we've got a haunted cooperage here. I've already got this building. Oh my god, I can use my resin. Because this is of course way better than the normal building. And there's soil there too. We can put a small farm. Okay, change of plans. Let's delete the hearth because we can maybe put it here instead. Okay, this might take a while, but this is a learning experience, okay guys? I want to know how this one simple mistake will make you lose the game. So, our jerky production is going good, our hobbies are happy, and we need to be turning off the field kitchen water because we need to save the drizzle water. So, we're almost at clearance, I think things are going okay for now. <laughs> We've at least paid the amber tax. Uh, let's do some trading. We've got some decent deals here, so let's keep on trading. Oh boy, and then I'll figure out the low food situation. No pickled goods ingredients and we're waiting on the grain from the farm, which should be delivered soon though. But they might just have to suffer for a little while. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, let's call a trader. Oh, we're also running out of food because of this. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, oh, low food. That's just prestige 20 vibes. Okay, please have food. Oh my god. Uh oh. <laughs> so I'm buying ale for the leisure order. 
I'm just going to imagine it's like other city builders where like your people can be starving and you just give them alcohol and then they're fine. <laughs> Wait, I just realized that's how Against the Storm used to be <laughs> before they introduced the starving mechanic. So herbs can be used for porridge, so I might just buy a little bit of that just while we're waiting on the grain. Oh, actually, they should be... Oh, nice. We actually have a bunch now, so they can use that too. Damn, okay, so we're just a little bit late on our food. So this storm might be a little rough, but we will try our best. Make sure everything's staffed properly. Yeah, the harpies are not liking that. Oh my god, we just made some food. So they need to go on break to actually get it. Oh, and we have so much more coming. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We might lose some harpies and even foxes if they don't eat. It's mandatory break time, guys. Come on. Harpies, you won't like it, but you will eat the porridge. Oh, wow, finally. So the porridge at least should be sustainable from now on, hopefully. <laughs> to help, I guess we'll put down another small farm. And the vegetables can be made into pickled goods. Oh, and I also have to think about more hearths. More hearths are great. But this one's hard to fit anywhere over here, so we'll just need to cut some more wood. Oh, we're now drizzle year five. I'm just going to make sure everyone is in their proper places. Okay, and we still have builders left over to help build. Let's check the cornerstone. So I'm not producing herbs, and I don't really know if I'll find glade events with loyalty in them. I don't really know much about them. I don't really want to open many more glades anyway. So I'm going to reroll. Oh my god, the queen has blessed me. This can help us trade even more by reducing our provision cost. And speaking of trading, let's have a look. Zero provisions for this deal? Nice. <laughs> we'll do the grain and this leather. So negative 45 hostility at the moment, thanks to trading. Not bad, not bad. We'll grab these harpies and fox with a stone. And maybe now it is time to do some housing. We can do some foxes as well, that's good. Okay, our second farm is running. Now these haunted buildings. Oh my god, look how much resin I have. Yeah, we should be able to handle the decrease in resolve, so let's do that. Oh, I forgot about the hearth over here. So I'll place this one here. That should cover both farms and any other buildings that are around here. So I think our food is going okay. Let's check this meat. Oh, we have a decent amount left, so that should last us a little bit longer. Otherwise, we will run out of jerky meat. Beavers are a little sad while we're getting the haunted market, so let's just take a woodcutter off so we go down to hostility. Oh, and Zork was here. Uh, so I'm going to buy some biscuits and also some pie and skewers. So that should help satisfy our people for a while, especially while the haunted market is decreasing their resolve. And it's almost done. I just chucked another guy in here to help reduce the time. Oh, cool. That did complete our rebuild a ruin order. But I am thinking of doing the cooperage now since they can tank the debuff. So the market buffs are carry capacity and resolve grows faster for every two villages with luxury fulfilled. Oh no, I'm not making one. <laughs> so these buffs aren't the best right now for me. Especially since I've already got a harpy in the fire for the carry capacity increase. Let's do a quick trade. I'll hand out glade and rebuild order in because a plus one to stone and clay are pretty good. Oh, and we need pipes for our geyser pump to uh, be able to do our other order. So turning on pipes in the crude workstation since we do have ingredients for it. And I'm going to set up our secondary hearth with some decorations. Oh, and I forgot to prioritize the pipes here so we can uh, make our geyser as soon as possible. Oh, uh, let's take all our woodcutters off. Um, they're still negative. Oh, the haunted. Damn. Oh, how long does it have? Oh, nice. Oh, heck yeah. Our hearth is done. The cooperage is done. Let's put you in there. And we'll do a quick storm trade. And we have a bunch of unemployed people, so let's put you there. Oh, wait. Let's go a hearth now. Oh, and the pump is up. We could automate it, but foxes do like being in here, so we'll see how they go for now. Oh my god, you know what I could do? The Forsaken Altar. More like the fun altar. I don't usually put this down, so I'm excited to see what I can get from it. <laughs> my hostility is low enough that I can keep favoring my harpies in the middle of the storm. Uh, so to help with this second hearth and getting that upgraded, I'm going to pull some shelters away. Because the initial hearth has enough to stay level 2. And we'll just build more as necessary. Oh, and I can actually grab my newcomers during the storm. I'm thinking the foxes over here. I've got a few things they like, and they don't get affected by hostility like the other two. So speaking of things foxes like, we can make tea in the cooperage. 
And I just remember to turn off the drizzle water and turn that off in the beanery as well because we need that for our order. All right, let's uh, look at the blueprints again. I'm not liking either of those, so I'm gonna re-roll. Oh, the tea doctor. This does give out tea, but it has that cool vitality. We gain resolve from them eating complex food. We only gain one though, and it's 200 food, oof. Oh man, choices are so hard. Yeah, let's just get it. Okay, so we need soil for the plantation. Druids are not bad, I could make clothing. And oil with the green, yeah, let's do that. So let's plop the druid's hut down here. Oh no, Trapper's Camp has no deposits nearby. So our jerky supply is going to go away. I guess I might be able to buy more. Okay, crude workstation, I need you to up your game. Let's pipe it. And hopefully the blight isn't too bad. Okay, we have made it out of that storm. So let's check our cornerstone. Wood production increased, but farming is worse. Mm, we already have beavers and I needed as much help on the farm as we can get. Glade events with empathy, lower hostility by 40. I mean, I might not find any more empathy events, but like, I'll just take this for a straight <laughs> for negative 40, <laughs> why not? Okay, quick 10 second management speed run, go. Oh damn, that one is nice. Zero provisions too. Let's go. So let's continue building houses. Oh, and we had another blueprint. Oh, supplier for the planks. Scrab makes ale though. I do need quite a bit of planks though, so let's go to the supplier. Oh wow, when did I get so much drizzle water? I guess thanks to our geyser pump. So we'll get copper bars, coal, and some amber. And of course, a reputation point. We are using the impatience to our advantage, but we do need to keep it in check. Ooh, Dullahan. Oh, I am a sucker for the mystery boxes though. So we're low on planks, so I'm just gonna buy some. And you know what? I'll take this box as well. You know what? This isn't actually that bad. This can help us make complex food. And the plus one cloth is very nice. So checking out this cooperage. You know what? I got a little bit of these ingredients. I'm gonna be making planks. I, yeah, I'm gonna keep these on. Okay, this is a terrible idea without any planks in the first place. But it does mean we can use the uh, barrels and the uh, pickled goods. So, you know, there's that. Trade route complete, nice, negative 75. We can actually put another beaver in the woodcutter. And we've been getting some good reputation from the positive resolve species. Clearances here, yep, additional blight rot sis. Uh, let's get prepared for that. Harpy for the bonus. We luckily have so much wood that I can make a bunch of purging fire now. And I've just moved some people around so we get level two on both hearths. Oh, so that lets us complete the uh, two neighborhoods. I am thinking of waiting to complete this one again. The hostility reduction from impatience is quite nice. Let's see the number, 135, yep. So I wanna keep that up as much as I can. And it's not like I'm waiting on picking a blueprint anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm actually getting rid of this hearth since I don't have many people up here anymore. Oh, a supplier and altar are finally being built. Okay, staff that with harpies, they like being in there. And yeah, let's prepare for the upcoming storm. Get out of the woodcutter, get in the black post. Okay, that's looking all good. You know what, you can just go in there. <laughs> so we have 11 sis. Um, yeah, we should be able to deal with that. So let's check out the altar. So I'll use my bread. I am liking the look of that Titan belt. Metallurgy, mm. Glade events, marked as corruption. Um, oh, nope, no. How can I refuse to trade even better? Oh, let's go again. I've got two more. Six tools every time someone dies. Newcomers have more villagers. Oh, I don't really want these, to be honest. So I'm just gonna go for the cornerstone rerolls. Oh, trade. Oh, wait, free insects. Oh, during the storm. I can actually totally leave woodcutters on during the storm, which is hilarious. However, I feel like I gotta lean into the trade one. So we'll just get more amber. So all of this should be worth five amber, but it's giving me 40 for this trade with zero provisions. But we won't give them all our tea, so let's just do these two trades. I don't have the water for it, but I'm gonna pipe the supplier because I do want some more planks, please. And the production of other things is going okay, but yeah, let's pipe the beanery as well. So I had blueprints to choose. So since I already have a way of making pickled goods, I'm leaning towards the workshop, even if it's a little late. It can help our brick and fabric production, therefore helping our clothing production too. Our orders, though, I'm not a big fan of. I've already rebuilt buildings, unfortunately, and I don't want to open too many more glades. So I'm just going to screw it and pick the luxury goods. Oh, more packs of goods, but the food one, I don't have enough people to fulfill these. So either I try and get a lot more people or, yeah, let's just choose the other one. 
Let's grab you guys out of the blight post since you're not needed anymore. And we will check the cornerstone. Oh, I'm not producing herbs, so I don't like this one. Prayer book is good, but I'm not going to be opening many glades. Well, I'll definitely be opening one more, so let's pick it. Okay, just giving people jobs. Oh, we have the druid's hut up now. So we'll be able to make coats and some other stuff. Let's grab some more people to help out with that. More harpies because they like the druid's hut. And we'll finally make our way into here. And we might as well put down the workshop. Let's just adjust these numbers. Ooh. Glade event, give me one second, please. Okay, I've gotten rid of the crude workstation since we do not need that anymore. Let's have a look in here. Oh, petrified tree. Yeah, we can totally use our tea for this. So let's get that one going for the half reputation point. Well, there is some soil here, um, but I will come back to that. There is some plant fiber here, which I obviously need to keep gathering to keep making coats. But I actually had a lot of bushes over here. So let's put the harvester down for that. And now time for the tax man. And we'll check the trader here. I have a large amount of amber, so I am going to buy some pottery to help keep making pickle goods. And just some crystallized dew because I do have some excess resources here I didn't even know I had. Which means we should be able to keep up with some more fox houses. Okay, our stone cutter is out of clay deposits, so I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh, and that was our hostility going down, I think thanks to the impatience going up. So now our harpies are just as happy as our foxes. We're gaining some nice reputation from them and a blueprint. Tool shop or distillery? Yeah, I'm not going to choose yet. The distillery did make wine, and this does give out tea, but we did have the tea doctor as well. And I personally like the global resolve buff from the tea doctor, so I'm going to put that down. We can deliver the tea from that. Oh, and look, we've already gained it twice. So some nice global resolve across the board. And that will definitely help now that we've run out of food for our jerky. So I'll just get the guys out of the field kitchen and we'll find them a new home. Actually, we could be making some flour in the supplier. So I'll turn on biscuits in the field kitchen and figure out a way to get these ingredients. Buy them, I guess. <laughs> uh, but lovely clearance is here. Let's see how our tree is going. Pretty much done, very nice. <laughs> so we get even more amber and the red point. And everything is okay, I think, from a management point. Where did I get all this leather from? Oh my god, I should pay more attention to things. <laughs> Let's sell that, that's a lot. Not too bad looking over here. Oh nice, another blueprint point. I do have people in the holy market for fun. And I think at the moment these decorations are a little bit expensive, so... I'm gonna pass on upgrading to level 3 hearth. Now, the tool shop, I can make a couple of tools because there are some caches just lying around. So yeah, let's just get that. Ooh, tavern gives out ale, which we do have an order for. And we get even more global resolve bonus from the passive effect. Lumber mill is obviously objectively great, but I feel like a little too late to get it now. So let's place the tavern down here with some nice flowers beside it. <laughs> so the neighborhood order we can complete. Oh, nice, more trade for the trade god. Um, but I would like to get some more reputation from Resolve if we can. So I'm not going to hand that in yet. Just in case I like lose people and gain a lot of impatience. Having that order ready to complete is like my shield against max impatience. It is storm time and only two cysts, so that'll be fine at least. I guess my cysts are low because I'm not really using my rainwater very well. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Let's continue our trading. I think I'm not even using my amber well either. <laughs> But I think it's just funny getting a lot of it. Oh, our trade and rainwater order is done too. We'll hand one of those orders in after the storm. But I forgot to man my harvester. We definitely want to keep our plant fiber up for coats. Okay, year eight. We're doing okay, surprisingly. Tin amber for people dying or leaving. Well, I don't want that to happen. Packs? No, I'm not making those. Forester's heart increase? Uh, trade routes are faster. Well... <laughs> Yeah, I feel obligated to pick this. 12 amber for this? It's meant to be $1.50 for that? That's insane. Let's go buy everything. Yeah, shopping spree time. Plus one global resolve from furniture. Move 10% faster. Uh, okay, maybe that one was a little unnecessary. But we will get some ale to give out in our tavern to beavers. We should have bought enough by now to sustain for a while. Oh my god, 92. Yeah, they'll enjoy that. And LT production slowed down a little bit, so I'll buy some of that and a little bit more ale. Ooh, hostility decrease. 
Oh, from protected trade. Oh my god, negative 150. That's pretty nice. Right, because buying from him is technically selling my amber, I guess. So yeah, that's still Prox protected trade. Oh, and we've got three global resolve from the tea doctor. So I think things are looking okay. And now that the tavern's built, I got the guys out of the market. Let's put them in there. So we'll get another plus three global resolve. So these guys should be pretty happy, even if their food gets low. So we have two orders over here that we can turn in. Let's complete the neighborhood order to help boost our reputation up. We'll get some amber, carry capacity and tools. Um, let's check our hostility. Negative 150 from Quinn's impatience. And negative 230 from other positives. Very nice. Let's have a look at our new blueprint. Wow, I think this game really wanted me to make wine. <laughs> but you know what? Let's see how we go without this. Because even though our food is a little lacking, they are very positive resolve. <laughs> Things are going up and down constantly. Oh, I haven't cut wood for ages, but we do have enough fuel, luckily. Porridge, okay. Yeah, they're all doing fine here. Planks, uh, not so much. Oh, well. At least they're all housed. Yeah, in shelters, but <laughs> that's okay. Let's delete that one. And we will replace it with a harpy house. Nice, let's keep increasing our rep, please. Mm, any trader on his way? No, I could call, but ah. Uh. I'm surprised I got away with not having to do these orders. <laughs> this didn't even give me a building to make them, but <laughs> I'm very happy about not needing to make them. Uh, but this all went super surprisingly well. I was not expecting it to be like this at all. Oh my god, there's another point. It's going up pretty fast. We can hand this order in, I think, and that will help us get over the edge. There we go. Oh my god. So I went into this fully expecting to lose and make this like a fun little like roast me video. Like, where did I go wrong, guys? <laughs> and have it be extremely obvious because I assumed I'd be making a lot of mistakes, but I got very, very lucky. <laughs> like the way my viceroy got bribed with all that amber. I felt like I was being bribed. <laughs> By this game <laughs> like it's saying oh come on prestige 20 isn't that bad and then my next p20 will be absolutely horrendous <laughs> all these cornerstones they just lined up perfectly i mean i don't know maybe they've changed the balance recently to <laughs> give you more of a helping hand who knows so i'm glad i can still complete prestige 20 even if i did get a lot of help <laughs> but when i do some more random challenge videos i think i will stick with viceroy because i know i will not get a game as lucky as this again <laughs> thank you all for watching